Uh, let's check our PPM and Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding about TDS meter and how to check and cross check if the equipment is still functioning properly. So today when I was changing the water from the reservoir, I noticed that the PPM is giving off a different reading but the formulation was exactly the same so I checked the 2 ppm meter and compared them and we have a big difference this one is a little bit of a problem for us because the ppm is one of the most important part of nutrients maintenance for the growing of our lettuce so I tried to scour the internet for answers on how to calibrate the ppm but to no avail but then i realized there was a simple solution for that and it will blow your mind we don't have to spend any more money for this calibration because the materials is already available for us you are already aware that if you mix a 2 ml solution of a and b in a one liter of distilled water it will produce an 800 ppm nutrient solution so we are going to need a uh, one liter of water for our solution so what we are going to do is we are going to cross check or we are going to make a reference point for our TDS meter I'm doing this uh, reference method because currently the TDS meter is quite expensive and I don't have time to buy a new one because the Christmas season is coming and I must be on the spot and waiting for the TDS meter is not an option so now we are going to measure a 2 ml solution A for our formula and take note though that some nutrient solutions require 2.5 ml per liter to make an 800 ppm nutrient solution so better consult your nutrient solution instructions on how many percentage or ppm does it, does it require to make a 1 liter of 800 ppm solution. So now we just mix a 2.4 ml of uh, solution 8 to our 1 liter of distilled water and mix it totally to dilute the solution A properly so we are also going to mix the uh, solution B to our mixture and we will measure it let's see and that's around 2.2 ml and the solution A is 2.4 ml that's almost the same and we're going to mix the solution b to our one liter of water with the solution a and we will mix it also properly so after mixing the solution just keep uh, in a container which is cannot be contaminated easily and you can also make a half ppm or 400 ppm solution for your reference in the future and after mixing our one liter of nutrient solution let us check by using our TDS meter or oh, how much ppm they are showing and let's see on the left side is 683 on the right side is 370 this is quite a problem for us because it is not giving off the right formula for us and this one will be a big problem for our lettuce and let's check the nutrient solution from our reservoir on the left side is 761 and the other side is 389 so this one is the tip for you 
uh, we already know that the solution that we made is around 800 ppm so what we are going to do is recalibrate the TDS meter and just put this uh, manually up to 800 in order for us to recalibrate our TDS meter please uh, read the manuals of your TDS meter on how to calibrate and follow the instructions and now we have calibrated it and we will cross check on our reservoir it's around 819 almost the same now and let's check again 804 and 800 19 on our reservoir is almost pretty much the same and we will also do the same for the other TDS meter as you can see the two TDS meters pretty much looks the same but actually they came from uh, two different companies so that's why we are going to double check them if they are really giving off the right formula if you found this video quite useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And now we are also going to recalibrate our second EDS meter. And this one is quite difficult because it has uh, different uh, instructions on how to recalibrate. And that's why we have to check our instruction manual on, ins on how to recalibrate our PDS meter and finally we have finished recalibrating our TDS meter and we will now compare how much ppm they are giving off and finally we are going to compare our two TDS meters from our solution made and the nutrient solution from our reservoir now we are going to compare the ppm from our two tds meters and as you can see the difference is around 50 ppm and now we have a reference point for our ppm meter and that's it guys a pretty simple solution for a very big problem amazing so eventually the TDS meter will fail in time even the expensive ones so I'm sharing you this uh, reference method so if we encounter this problem in the future you will have a solution thank you for watching